Fly Garden stamp set, and it has a punch with it, true. Also, I'm gotta spit things out here. And, um, uh, sorry, gotta get a drink here, gang. Okay, this is a really easy card. I'm gonna get my chair over here so I can hop here in the picture. Okay, um, this is a rubber clean. And I've already have some of the stamps out. Makes really pretty dragonflies. You can see I've been playing there. Um, and we are going to use, I'm just gonna set that to the side there. You get a little bit of a shadow, don't you? I wonder, or it glares. There we go, okay. We're gonna use, these are all my goodies. We're gonna use a quarter sheet of uh, cardstock, and this is Misty Moonlight. And this pretty designer series paper is from the Nature's Harvest, this next class that's coming up. And it's 12 by 12, and it's got some of the most gorgeous papers in it. That's my favorite, and that's my favorite, and that's my favorite. <laughs> I have several favorites, obviously. But, so this is just a quarter sheet of cardstock, and designer series paper is just a quarter inch smaller, and then we're going to, you know, I'm just gonna go ahead and start gluing things down, I think. I like using my, just to give you an idea of what we're making, we're gonna make something like this. So we'll put that there. And then here's one I made earlier. And I'm putting them out here because I always forget to show you what we're making. So this way you see where we're going with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just use a little bit of glue here. And put this on my designer series paper right in the middle. It's going to frame my, um, my art panel, as you can see there. Okay. And I'm going to put that on here. See, here's the uh, Calypso Coral that I could have used. Okay. And we're just going to center that. There we go. Okay. Good deal. Now, we need to do some stamping, and we're going to use this image here, and I'm going to do that in crumb cake. I'm going to bring some extra scratch paper over because I might just go off the page, which is fine. Okay. Okay, I always like to stamp once to see what it looks like. There we go. That's what we're going for. And I just stamped my finger, wasn't that good. Well, I just happened to have a Kleenex over here. And I see I've already got that piece of paper dirty. So as usual, we have two sides and we're gonna bring that and I want this down here. There we go. I think I'm just gonna do one this time. Okay, now for my sentiment, I'm going to use for a true friend. So, and I'm gonna do that in crumb cake and I will do that right here. There we go. Okay, close up the ink before it gets dangerous. I'm gonna see if I can get the comments, guys. So let me see what I would need to do. Oh, there we go. Hey, I see Mary's joining us and Sue's joined us. And oh, thanks, Marie. Good deal. Okay, so get this paper out of the way. Pardon me, got to get another drink here. Okay, good deal. Now, this is going to go right here in the center. So we will put a little bit of glue here and I'm gonna center it. Guys, this is a really easy card. I and I like it because it's different, you know? It's not your it's not your standard card. Um, and what this is, this is a piece of um, the cardstock. Well, shoot, let me just get a piece of cardstock out and show you what I did. Yeah, we'll use a cinnamon cider. Here we go. So this, just to show you what we did, this is just a quarter piece. So, you know, the cardstock comes in eight and a half by 11. So right here is my quarter piece right there. Well, this is a two and a half inch strip off from here. 
And then, so I just cut that and then I scored it in the middle. And then when you put it next to, when you put it next to your thing, you see we, you know, we cut this off a little bit. So that's why you cut a quarter inch off on each side and that's how you get it to fit. So we can adhere that down and do just a little bit of liquid glue on that and put that right in the middle. As you can see, I don't have a very big uh, white border. I didn't want it. I wanted it small. So there we go. So now we could leave it like that, but I thought it'd be a little bit easier if um, you could see better if we did this. So what I'm going to do is, um, you know, I have another, oh, here we go. I want to use this one. You're an inspiration. I want to put that right on the inside here. And you know, I think I want it misty moonlight. Let me grab my ink. This happens to be right behind me. So, yeah, like I said, oops. Yep, um, I always like to, I always like to practice. There we go. Okay. We're going to, we're turning it over, because look at that, I got a little bit of, I'm getting, I got ink, so that's why, thankfully, two sides, you're an inspiration. Wonderful. Close up the ink, keep it safe. Okay, and now we are going to adhere this right in the middle. And this is where you could sign your card, right? There is where we want this. There we go. Okay, now we need to decorate it a little bit. Okay, as you can see on these that I made earlier, I have little butterflies. Um, on this one, I used the silver, what was that called? Silver, silver foil. Brushed silver foil is what that was. And this is, I used this right here. Let me pull this over here the Golden Rose Metallic Specialty Paper. I think I'm gonna use the gold on this one. I've got just a little scrap. You can see I've been using it. So, let me, okay, put my note there. Um, I'm looking for my punch. Here it is, it's tucked away. Okay, open up the punch. I like these because, you know, with them, you can close it and store it and it's square like that. And when you're ready, you just open it up. So I like that. So we're just going to, oh, there it popped off. Excellent. And I think I only need one. So we'll get this out of the way. Now I like to uh, give these a little bit, make them, make you think they're moving. So I like to, um, Move them just a little bit. I like to bring the, the wings up and then bring them down. Eh, I don't know, to me it feels like they're doing a little bit of movement that way. They're fluttering, you know, there we go. And I think I want this guy right here. There we go. So this is the card I made earlier. And this one is actually from Pattern Play paper, the, the Hostess paper. And um, I just used this uh, smoky slate, and I think that looked, turned out pretty good. But I think we wanna do just a little bit of bling on this. So where's my bling? Here we go. Now I'm thinking these to me look like Ruta Becky or Black Eyed Susans, or they co could even be cone flowers. And cone flowers are, are pink and white and orange, and your Ruta Becky is gold. Um, so I've got all these little goodies we can use. I'm, I'm gonna look at here at the holiday rhinestones. I wonder about using, um, I think, I wanna look at some of this, we'll, we'll try this a little bit. I think maybe here, put a yellow there, but I think I'd like to go with a blue. I think that would look nice up here. Okay, and I think we'll do one more. Um, maybe we'll go with this aquamarine. There we go. I like that. 
How's that look, gang? Bring this up here. So, and this is a, a take your pick tool, which is handy when you're getting uh, rhinestones and different bling working on those. So, hang on a minute. I gotta, <clears throat> pardon me, pardon me. The cold's hitting me here. Okay. So let's see, well thank you, appreciate that you guys. Um, so this is, like I said, this is really easy. It's just a, a quarter piece of cardstock and with a little bit of pretty pattern paper. And here's our cards. So um, gang, I will be back on uh, next Monday, which is October 18th. Um, if you've got any questions, get a hold of me here. I'd love to help you um, and I hope you're doing well. And it was, thank you so much for coming and joining me tonight, gang. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.